Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. You know how, like, sometimes I tell you, like, I get, like, stress poop? Oh, or, like, yeah. stress gas? Mm-hmm. During that conversation, I felt like I had to take a stress shit. And um, now it's gone. I heard someone recently say, if you don't have to take a stress shit, you don't care enough. And I was like, oh, that's an interesting. That's a good way to think about it. Hmm. Like, if you don't have to take a shit, you're not excited enough. You don't care enough. Like before, like you're doing something important, something you care about, you should have to take a shit because you yeah. care so much. That's another thing, like how we were talking about first dates and everything. Every time I had something to do with like a new boy or anything, I always had to like stress shit. Take a poop. Yep. Yeah. yeah, like all the time. Just Even means you if, care. Yeah. yeah, the whole time, like the whole week, thinking about the new kid, I'm like <laughs> taking stress shits all over the place. When's the last time this happened? Uh, Michael's manager. Oh, I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> right, he was hot. I believe it. I believe it. <laughs> no, I do. And I, I believe it. I believe it. Mm. Welcome back. Oh, Didn't no. I show you that picture? Of him? Yeah. Yeah, I don't remember what he looked like, though. Yeah. So I just have to... Did I tell you that story where I kind of stalked him at Office Depot? Yep. Are we? I mean, we're back. Do you want to not be back? Do you no, want we to... can be back. That's okay. Fine. Well, great. You stalked him at Office Depot. Now that's out in the open. I'm yeah. sure he's a fan. <laughs> 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 make me like choke on my water <laughs> yeah, yeah you see like a comment from his name mm. oh hey just... i remember his name his name is zach i don't remember his last well, name well good then we don't someone's gonna change their name to zach <laughs> zach baggins yeah zach bag oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> sexy zach so anyways there's let's that. do this cutscene thing and pretend we care about the game we do care about the I game pretend, pretend i care about Ilya. yeah pretend we care about Ilya. she's m- meant to be attractive right <laughs> whoa <sighs> Excuse Thank me. Thank you for blowing it that way. I kind of blew it that way and then I turned my head. <laughs> I, I knew you once. Glad you remember. Thanks. She's, she's more looks... trouble. She's more she's, trouble than she's She's more good. trouble than she's She's good. a, what do they call that? What's that really mean thing people say about people? High maintenance? Yeah. She's really high maintenance. I was thinking like bitch, but you know. Uh, also, that, I think those are, that high maintenance <laughs> is like sort of the. Uh, it's a nice word. The nice word, way of saying bitch. Yeah. But is... at the same time, it isn't either. It oh, it's more not. Of a punch no, I actually, I, I'm completely over people saying someone's high maintenance and stuff. I just, I find that just mean. Yeah. Really. It's, uh, it's bad. When we were young, you and I, we rolled around in the hay. <laughs> <laughs> You're always there. You're always there beside me. She looks weirder in this version. Aww. Oh, that's a tear. I was wondering what was coming from her eye. <laughs> oh, hey. Oh, she disappeared. He looks good, but she looks funny now. Yeah. Oh, well. Oh, he pon up. Oh. It's like, this is like a pona sex pose. <laughs> 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 yeah, what is going on? <laughs> this makes it seem like there's a lot of romance between them. I and mean, I never really got that from the game. No, yeah, you don't. The only one where they seriously kind of hint at some sort of romance is Skyward Sword, I yeah. think. Yeah. They get into that in a in a good way. I like the way that they did that. Yeah. Yeah. Another thing I liked about Skyward Sword is the way that like, you were like, squ- let me back up. Is the way that you were. Ugh. He's a pervert. He watches his parents have sex. Probably. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I, oh my god. He probably does though. You're right. Mm-hmm. This is the gift I was meaning to offer you. Please, Link, take it. Is this supposed to be, like, romance between them? I can not Yeah, tell. but they never fully committed to it. Whoa, use the force, dude. Look at that. It's amazing. <laughs> Everybody it's like has the, a force in the It's like game. Anakin making the peach float. Eat this peach, Padme. She said she was going to give this to you, but then it says here, she made this just for Epona. Not for me. Well. For Epona. Yeah, Thanks. I, yeah, I don't know. Sure. Thanks. You don't need to worry about me any longer. Maybe you were trying to be waiting for you. you. Oh, isn't that Ooh. sweet? And then you never see her again until the credits. <laughs> yeah. He's got like the banjo voice. <laughs> that wasn't a very good banjo impression. But when you know. said banjo, I was thinking of like the instrument. <laughs> oh, and dang, dang, dang. The rod of the heavens. Well, actually, it's about the messenger to the heavens who had the rod. I want to say hi to people watching again. Is that oh, okay? Hey. Hi, ever- hey, else? you listening. How's it going? I'm talking to you now. You listening. I uh, like what you did with your hair. It's cute. Shave what you're it off. Wearing? Shave it off. Grow it back. Take it off. Take everything off. What are you wearing right now? Take us. <laughs> take us to the toilet. 
Yeah. <laughs> Shake off all your clothes and take a dump in the nude with <laughs> watching us. I'm going to direct you through it. Okay, now push, push, push. Breathe. Breathe. In and out, in and out. Very good. Keep going. Let me wipe it's, off the sweat from your forehead. It's crowning, it's crowning. Good. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Off of that topic. That was gross. That was nasty. That wasn't nasty. It was nasty. I hate when people talk about... There are ways that you can describe things because like i pooping's not it's whatever mm -hmm. but when people describe it in ways that you don't often hear like oh it's crowning <laughs> I, I find that <laughs> hilariously disgusting yeah uh you know when people say like oh, God, i got i made hot like making hot brown rain in the toilet. <laughs> this is just gross i think it's so funny. it is it's hilarious <laughs> because you don't it's it's just like if you would have said oh hey it's harry potter Harry Potter. Uh, Harry Potter and Ron Weasley's kid. Oh yeah, look at that. And also, there's an elf in there. Say old boy. They had sex with Dobby. <laughs> anyway, um, <laughs> sorry, sorry, jeez. Um, I, oh god, there's so many things I've been trying to say that I've now lost. Oh boy, Hot it's just rain. like if you would have said, slit your throat versus slit your stomach open. Hey, he said belly, right? As you said oh, stomach. That's funny. There you go. Um, slit your belly like a pig. Anyway, uh, there's something. Because it's not common, it's just not a thing you say. Like if someone says, like, oh, I took a huge shit. It's like, okay, you, I mean, you're here, it's fine, great, you took a shit. If someone says, I made hot brown rain, and I painted the porcelain brown. It's like, oh, that's awesome. It's yeah. so gross and just, like, it gives you such a vivid, vivid, different image. That's awesome. Wait, can't he see my rod? Wait, at, what did he say? Look at my rod. Look at my sexy statues, rod. the words that breaks the seal and the rod of the heavens. Why don't you just hit the statue rod. with the rod? Because I don't have, um... Magic powers? Yeah, magic powers. Oh, don't you have to get all magic powers back by doing that big long fetch quest? What is my fetch quest? I will talk to him again. Let's read this for the eighth <laughs> time to see if we can actually <laughs> pay attention to it for once. He's asking that song of independent. What shall we do? Go talk to Ilya. Uh, Ilya! So one of the things I thought was really funny about Skyward Sword is that, uh, Link's quest for the first long chunk of the game... Is actually not even the actual thing that's saving the world at that point. Zelda is saving the world and you're just scrambling to try and follow her and like through all these temples and stuff mm -hmm. you're just trying to basically get a glimpse of her and be like are you okay and she's like I'm kind of busy right now like doing this and I thought that was funny because you would always get to the end of a temple and be like ah oh, I saved Zelda but She's actually just hanging out with Impa, mm -hmm. doing a bunch of really important shit. And she's yeah, like, I, I gotta leave now. Care of yeah. Her. And that was a, just an interesting little little weirdness. But then she gets locked in a bunch of molasses, and you gotta save her anyway. Wouldn't it be kind of cool to, like, play a game in Zelda's point of view? Oh, totally. No, that, it's... Uh, like Skyward the, Sword. The way that Skyward Zelda's. Sword went, yeah, if you could do a Skyward Sword version from the point of view of Zelda... That'd be really cool. That would be. Honestly, even... I, I bet there'd be a way to do a number of the Zelda games from the point of view of Zelda, like uh, Ocarina of Time in, in between when she leaves and then becomes Sheik. Mm -hmm. There's like, you could do a lot with that stuff because she's always going around doing, dancing around with this and the other. Yeah, this one, not so much because she's kind of like a prisoner. She's just stuck in a tower, yeah. yeah. It'd be boring. You can make like a, a, a honey pop style clicking game, I guess, like <laughs> ma managing the tower. But it wouldn't clean, be fun. Clean your bed! Yeah, <laughs> 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 Do you like that game? Honeypot? The new one, Honeycam. I did not play that. I played it for a little bit and then I quit. Yeah, you streamed it, didn't you? Oh, I... Somebody mentioned that in the comment actually recently. I don't know if you knew that. Someone was like, uh, hey, hmm. you know what we never kept talking about like we said we were gonna? What? We were like, let's talk about people believing things that are bad oh, more. Yeah. And then we just we stopped. Just stopped. Yeah, didn't we? God, we're, yeah, I don't we're know. tools. The one thing I do want to say actually though is there are some cases where you do have to worry more about it. Like, what do you do about someone who believes you can abuse cats and that's okay? Mm -hmm. That's scary. Some just people beat get them up until they <laughs> until they die. Yeah, I guess honestly, if you no can seriously, just people turn that abuse cats, abuse like I just they gotta go to jail. I'm sorry. Like, oh, there's no sympathy left for people that abuse it's animals. It's rough. Yeah, it's if I, I if I ever see a story in the news where some guy like killed his it cat, makes me really upset. I just ooh, I get so freaking mad. Oh, I'm getting mad talking about it. <laughs> it's bad. No. <laughs> Oh, here we oh go. Oh my god, the boobers! It was perfect timing. Babies. Look at all the kitty cats. Oh, I got to pick them up. Uh, la, la, la. So, Babies. But it, there also does, Babies. I feel like there seems to be this, it's not like a movement, but it's like oh a thing. Oh my god. That's a tiny cat. A tiny He's teeny. <laughs> They're so cute. Look at oh. all of them. Is that a cat? It's a squirrel. Oh, it's a squirrel. 
Oh, that's oh. a bird. <laughs> it's, like, it's, it's a squirrel. Oh, it's flies Pippin. Oh. It's Pippin. He's My cute. Pippins. Do first person and look at them all. Oh, They're adorable. Oh, look the at the kitties. Babies. Whoa. <laughs> There you go. Uh, That's yeah. nice. That person probably quit. Uh, 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 what were we talking about? Oh. oh. So. Oh. Know, that's a little cat. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, you know the way that I used to be maybe like three years ago where I would get, and a lot of people still do this, where you get kind of. She is literally. You. Uh, yeah. In like <laughs> how many years until you're that old? Except my house would be probably shittier than it. No, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, people get really up in arms about things like astrology and horoscopes and stuff. They're like, why do you believe that garbage? It's just fun, And listen, man. right. There are some things that you should be concerned about. Mm -hmm. What, you know, like a cat abuse. Yeah. I feel like... If it's something that's not dangerous or harmful to other yeah. people or animals... Like, if they believe in, I don't know, aliens or, like, some kind of conspiracy it's, theory. Right. And as long as they're not, like, harming other people or forcing their behavior or beliefs onto other people, that's fine. Who cares? But if they're like, oh, yeah, I believe in, like, kicking cats and sacrificing I believe. Them. What do you <laughs> I believe? Don't... I believe in kicking cats. <laughs> that's my number one belief. And they're, like, you know, forcing it on other people. Right. Or, like, oh, yeah, you know, we gotta build a wall or something. It's like, dude, shut the fuck up. Like, I, then I think it's, like... You know, stop. You're being racist. Yeah, it. I and it's interesting because I feel like I don't know. There might some people like to argue about how if you believe in like horoscopes, it's like dangerous because it it means that you also are. You know, if you don't strictly believe in things that are empirically believable and true, it's dangerous because then you might. Use your horoscope beliefs to, like, determine how you do that, I mm -hmm. guess. Like, like you you're guys... gonna meet the love of your life today, and then you meet some random right. guy that's like, Hey, wanna go on a date? And you're like, Oh my god, I gotta get married to yeah, him! And then you kill him or something, I don't know. That's, I'm just kidding. That's not, your horoscope says you will murder today, and then you do that. Oh, um, can I talk to you? But, oh, the Kuko leader. I wanna play fun games with you. I think I mentioned this once on an episode, but I was like... Oh god, I can't remember how I phrased it. People just like to get all fussy dusty instead of, let's pretend you stop judging people for a second, just all together, mm -hmm. and someone says, I believe in horoscopes. Okay. Nice. Good for you. Give them the, well, first of all, yeah, okay. But fun. what do you think that they're getting out of that? You really think that they're just, they're, it's just a stupid garbage, whatever, it's not empirically true, so just, well... Those people are idiots, it's a bunch of sheep. Yeah, like, bunch of I don't, aren't like, true. okay, say, um, psychics. I don't really right. believe in them, but I think but, it's fucking fun as hell well, and it's not to only see fun. what they say. It's not only fun, Aisha, but I swear. <laughs> um, it's just like... I'm getting hot. There's so... I'm getting hot and bothered right now talking about this crap. Um, Take out my goddamn exactly sweater. It's exactly like when I am... I feel lost in life... Which is a lot of times when people go to psychics. You feel lost in life. You need some fucking advice. Some people go to a psychic. Some people look at horoscopes. Or they some go to a therapist. Go, well, you go to a therapist. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> some people go do, do any number of things. Some people like me will listen to music and just decide to find your answers in there. Is the music actually speaking from another dimension teaching you these magical things about your life? No. You are reading extra far into it so that you can try to learn something about what you should do and what your situation is. It's exactly the same thing as people use horoscopes for. It's exactly the same thing as going to a psychic. It's exactly the same type of advice. Some people like to look at a painting to find advice about their life. Some people like to get a fortune cookie or whatever. And to, I think that to pretend like everybody doesn't have little ways that they connect with things that aren't just empirically true, mm -hmm. maybe some people don't. But I do, and I don't think there's anything wrong with doing that. I like to look at horoscopes sometimes, yeah. just to get some. Just you know, yeah, it's, it's not literally truth from the interdimensional space. But maybe okay. it helps you like think of something that you normally wouldn't have thought of. Exactly, you're just getting advice from a thing 
and applying yourself to it to try and f just threw right past it. Uh, just to try and get some some help from somewhere, you know? It's, uh, and people are not, it, I think in a lot of the same ways, it, it that's how religion works for people that are, I think, doing it in the way that doesn't make them want to, you know, some people kill people for reasons, and that's no good. Um, but that, it's the same way that, like, it, it's meant to be taken as sort of a metaphor, like as allegory. You could find something from it, like music, when, when Linkin Park sings, I've become so numb, they might have been talking about going to the dentist. It doesn't matter what they're literally <laughs> talking about, because for me... Because maybe they were, you know, sleeping on their hand, and their sleeping hand Sleeping on their sleep. hand, I've become so numb. And then it feels like someone it else It could be about, it. like, what exactly? It's I'm not... so numb. It's just it's about... lost it all. Wrong song. I've become so numb and lost it all. <laughs> uh, it's, it's just about taking... It's basically art, isn't it? Right? Mm. Horoscopes, psychics, it's just artistry. Yeah. And you can find yourself through it if you want. And you can shit on people for doing that if you want. But come on. Give them a fucking break. Okay? Mm -hmm. When you shit on them, you're shitting on me. Do you really want to shit on me? Why not the, uh, why not the bow? I don't have any arrows. Okay. He's dead, though. Yeah, you killed him in one, actually. You knocked him in the head and just My. poof. You have six arrows. What are you talking about? I do. Look at that bow. Six. <laughs> I was trying to shoot that guy and nothing happened. I've got no idea. Where am I supposed to take this? I have no clue, but I think we're done. Are we? Yeah. Are you sure? Maybe. Oh my god, yeah. And by oh my god, yeah, I mean, yeah, we're at 15 minutes. <laughs> oh shit. We're about normal. Uh, okay, we'll come back and do a listener question next time because we're kind of skimping on those and we have a lot to get through. Why is this glowing now? Oh, I touched it. Well, oh, now we god. can't be done yet. No, 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 no. No, we can't I'll be down it. in the middle no, of the cutscene. No, cut scene. it. No, it's just something that happened in the goddamn book. Okay, bye, guys.